the first question I got for you is, what was it like, like, growing up in Trenton? Growing up in Trenton. Good way or... Just in general. Yeah, in general. Yeah, like, growing up for you. Uh, I say growing up out here, in general, was like, you know, good and bad, like any other city and shit like that, but from what I've seen, worse than Trenton, like, sometimes you don't even want to be around that shit sometimes, like, yeah. but I should either make you or break you, honestly, like, you got a lot of people that come out of this shit that don't really be getting the credit that they deserve, but it's a lot of talent out here, it's a lot of niggas doing mad different shit, like, clothing, yeah, a, lot of niggas, a lot of celebrities wearing this shit from out here. Like, you got artists and shit doing mad different shit. It's a lot of us. So, it's a difference now between, like, back then, like, shit was hard and niggas wasn't getting no exposure. Like, so, to see the progression of that shit, like, feel me? Yeah, it's going sure. somewhere. Definitely seen that. Because I remember before, there wasn't even a lot of, like, clothing brands, rappers, at that. Like, it just started popping like this. And it's yeah. mad brands out now. But... How did music play a part in your life? And like, who was your inspiration? Music played every part in my life from like sixth grade. I say I did like, I wanted it done so I did some shit. I was in fucking choir. That shit was part of music class. So, nigga did the, um, what the fuck they call that shit? They bring everybody to the auditorium, do a little- Assembly? Yeah, some shit like that. We had to do a song. I did the little solo drum. I met. That's kind of how I met a lot of people how I know. So, it seemed like everything that I was doing with music, that should have had an effect on my real life, man. Yeah. yeah. What was your first time hitting the studio like? Was you nervous? I don't know, I was fucking anxious. I was like, I used to ask my man, like, bro, when you gonna get me in the studio? And niggas like four or five years older than me, so they had their own shit. So, feel me? I, Bad the niggas every time, like, I'm trying to get in there, I'm trying to get in there one night, feel me? You got a bitch high as hell, I wasn't even smoking the weed like that, probably like 15. Get in there, I'm like, all right. Record the song, I wasn't feeling that shit. He dropped that shit next day, that shit, mad love, I'm like, what up? I'm like, yeah. Sometimes that's what you need, a little push from other people, like outside people, the whole cap. But when did you officially start taking music seriously? Like, what, motiva- what motivated you? Uh, I was fucking with it, but see, where I was caught up at, I was doing that shit for the wrong reasons. I say, I ran into my boy Rob, like, what, 2020? Family, he started showing me, like, the behind the scenes and just, like, the cooking up every day with my man's baby boy, that everyday shit, like, then you start family, you seeing, like, all right. Bitch, we, we doing this and this now. Bitch, man, we just tired as hell and still not knowing if this shit yeah, works. We got mad shit going on at the crib. Then that shit started filming. You know, ups and downs with that shit. You know? Bless the Boop EP. What was that like? Because I know it's supposed to be about DJ Sean, right? Yeah, my man's from Chicago, that uh, fucking famous Dex. Yeah, he fucked with a lot of shit. But yeah, the Bless the Boop shit, I ain't really. I took a break from like the rapping shit. I started going more melodic, so I'm like, bless the boo. That's just like some straight freestyle shit, right? I can still rap too, like, yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you definitely be versatile with really? And I that's like, that shit up, into the next question, like, how does your music in the past compare to it now? Because I know the bless the boo, he was coming with like the drill type shit, and now yeah, that's you why got I, melodic shit. That's why I said like, when I first, first started, like, just the shit I was throwing on YouTube, that was more like some drill shit. But <laughs> I went down south. I started fucking with my brother and shit. I met him down there. The family, he had his stool. We cooking up every day. Just like the environment, the culture down there, like that shit. Like, damn, this is some yeah. shit that I really fuck with, like inside, but I didn't know that shit until I was around it. Like, I'm like, Making Sorry for the Wait versus Open Mic. What was that like? Uh, open Mic, I did that one first, so that was probably like, what? Let's say around spring, I think, like, around that time. I did Open Mic, that was some shit, like. I can check, hold on. We gotta get the date. Let's get it up. 
Damn, it just say 2021. Oh, wait, no, it don't. Hold on. Yeah, it just say 2021. Sorry for the way it came out in June. <clears throat> so that was probably like March. Yeah. Okay, so first one. I ain't, I had a lot of shit. Like, I was recording. Like, see, the way I record, I record mad shit. Because I record it just like, get shit out sometimes, or maybe I just want mm-hmm. Get a vibe or some shit like that. So that shit was more like it was a lot of personal shit. I was really feeling. So I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm gonna take it, take it there. Like that was the first time I'm like, all right, I ain't gonna hold nothing back. I'ma just feel me. What it is is what it is. For which one, open mic? Open mic. Yeah, yeah. That's like some definitely more personal those songs shit. got relatable shit on yeah. there. Like open mic. And sorry for the wait. I was supposed to do a deluxe with open mic. But like I said, I be recording so much. It was so many different vibes. So I'm like, summertime shit like that. Let me just mix all that shit up at once. Oh god. You can put this on the local ta- local talent. Like who you, you who you fuck with out here? Put this on to some people. Right now, we in the building with my boy Man. You wanna come in the video? That was uh. I'm how I met this nigga. Feel me? I'm the type of nigga if I listen to some shit and I don't know him, I'm gonna reach out some shit like that. So I'm riding one night, got into a little <laughs> argument with my girl. So you know how SoundCloud shit is be playing. Yeah. So feel me? What was that shit I had? Chanel. Blue. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, this nigga hard. That's your L friend, man. I'm like, I ain't never seen him, bro before. Hey, mom, I'm like, bro, your shit hard, bro. Like, I'm trying to do something with you. Just make my man's Woody. I've been fucking with him ever since. That's how it be. Got Wreck. Let me see. Uh, Bando. I ain't gonna Death say that. Like, fuck the rest of that list. What you want the rap industry to know? What you want to say to the rap industry, basically? Fuck the industry. I'm on some shit like Femi. I ain't really worried about features with this nigga being brown these days. You know what I'm saying? Whatever genuinely come, that's what come. But I'm on some shit like just trying to get a big ass bag and, and give and give back like a lot of weed. Anything to look out for coming soon? Surprise on that. Surprise. Yeah. That was the end of it, but we got some bonus questions. So, out of all your projects, what's your favorite project? Including like the mixtape, not just the album. Shit. If I had to let one play from start to bottom. Uh, cool shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, I told you it was cold as hell. Need a little windy in here. I see. I'm about to be done. It depends on what mood I'm in. Yeah. Type of shit. I'm not gonna lie. When I be, when I be duffled up, like bagged up. Cause there's certain songs that I take from both of them that I can't really like leave it out, man. Yeah. I fuck with open mic, like the song. The song open mic, I fuck with that one. Yeah. A hundred thousand or a Drake feature? A hundred thousand. <laughs> you wanna take no Drake feature? Bro, for one, if I'm in this, I'm gonna keep it real with you, right? If I'm in the studio with Drake, I ain't got a hundred thousand in there right now. I ain't gonna get on here and feel me. A lot of other niggas, yeah, I'll take a feature. Broke as hell in there. Fuck you, man. Yeah, but that's he song, might not you know, even clear the verse. True. Now nah, you just missed out on the hundred k. You might not even release it. Where he gonna drop it? Yo, bro, he gonna be yeah. playing around the whole time. You gonna try a little boy? You now you just filming, assed out. You took the hundred k. You got you after that. <laughs> it's up to you. If you do your own shit, put some promotion shit, all type of ways. Like, yeah. How you want your twenty twenty two to go? Oh, I guess, like, 
you know, every year is crash, crash, growth. Definitely. And the last question, if you want to do a little mental health check, how you doing? Like, how are you? How am I? Yeah. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I'm good enough to give people that shit they want to hear outside their car. So, you know, yeah, we here together. <laughs> well, that's it for the video. That's the first episode of Not So Random featuring Jada Demon. Yes, sir. Um, stay tuned for more. We definitely going to have more people coming on. Yeah, stay tuned.